hi and welcome back to my son's YouTube channel where my intention has always been to inspire and change the views of society on people with disabilities. It's always a positive thing and it shows the good, the bad, the ugly, the in-between. So if this video is not for you and you feel triggered by it, you can just skip through it. So welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted a video on my son's YouTube page in a very long time. And the reason being is because it's been crazy busy. So when quarantine where I live ended, um, all his doctor's appointments came back up. And uh, we've been doctoring at three different hospitals for three different issues with my son and you know it's been chaotic in two weeks we've been to three different hospitals and um, I'm drained and you know what he's drained too he's so done with it he has anxiety so he gets all stressed out but anyway in today's video there's two topics I want to talk about and I'm gonna find my phone because I wrote the topics down and with all these air conditioners that have been on, I suffer from this dry cough cold. So I'm sick of air conditioning, but I tell ya, if we need it, we need it. Okay, let's go. Okay, so basically when you have a child with um, many disabilities or is nonverbal, and your child is involved in different agencies. He's got a group of people he works with at his school. He's got a group of people he works with at his daycare. He's got a group of people he works with at a respite home. Um, people coming and going from his life and doctoring and doctoring. So my first little segment here is about forms and the amount of forms. <laughs> So when we prepare for a doctor's appointment, it's not your typical bring your child to your doctor appointment. They're going to sit there and tell the doctor how they feel. With Reese, what I have to do, and this has been ongoing since probably, honestly, I've had a filing cabinet for him um, with categories of medical appointments and medical things and he changes over the years right so what I have to do is answer these questionnaires and these questionnaires they're not two pages we're talking about one, one booklet two booklet three booklet four five booklets this is for one doctor and it's five booklets of forms I have to fill out so this appointment will be in the fall and then another location which I will not name um, forms we have one booklet two booklet three booklet four booklets that I have to fill out so this is ongoing so the amount of forms and things now people can say well Rachel you can make that easier just photocopy them reuse them reason no you can't do that my son his moods his behavior his um, everything he's a typical kid they change over time. They either regress or progress or get better, get worse. So these are quite imperative. But when I do fill them out, I always make a photocopy and keep them for myself. But I never refer back to old ones because I go by current date and time. So I just wanted to, you know, go over that how Doctor's appointments and physician appointments and psychiatry appointments, psychologist appointments, therapist appointments, OT, PT appointments, all these appointments require a ton of paperwork. I remember saying a long time ago, if I was, if I could afford it, which I definitely can't afford anything, but if I could afford it, I would hire someone just to deal, <laughs> like an assistant, just to deal with my son's emails that he gets re regarding his stuff, my son's paperwork, anything to do with my son, I'd hire somebody for that aspect. Anyway, that was my first topic I wanted to talk about. Um, we are going on, what, seven months with no respite now. So February, March, April, May, June, July. 
sorry, six, six and a half months with no respite. So I'm pretty impressed with myself. Have I had days of pure exhaustion? Yeah. But I'm not going to get into detail about that. Actually, the reason I really wanted to do this video, and I've already asked permission, um, is how people like myself, I am a empath and I'm, I feel energy, I've always felt energy, so I'm a firm believer in spiritual energy and healing, okay? That's just me, that's who I've always been, I'm not shy to hide that. So sometimes when I have ongoing issues with my son, and he verbally cannot tell me, and I cannot figure it out, I like to reach out and contact certain people I trust. And I have two very important people I trust who are psychic mediums and have been for years and are legit real. And um, I've already asked for their permission to talk about these two beautiful souls. And I also like to promote them. They, they, they never asked me to do anything like this. I actually want to because of the way they've helped me out so, so much. And not just telling me things, they validated things that I kind of figured was going on. So they validated them for me. And I want to tell you how they work and how they operate. So people aren't too judgmental. I'm probably gonna turn the comments off in the comment section anyway. How they work is, they help me hear from my spirit guides and my son's spirit guides and my son's ancestors and my ancestors and my guardian angels. They communicate with them and it brings the message to them and then they tell me because I ask specific questions and I tell you, it's a lifesaver. So don't judge until you've done it or don't judge until you have somebody who has issues and in pain and can't tell you and stuff like that. So try not to judge, okay? Because I'm a firm believer in this and I've always been and I really wanna promote these two people who have helped me a lot. So, the first lady, actually there's a man and a lady who have helped me. The man has helped me for the last, I'd say, seven or eight years now. Both of them, you can contact them and I'm gonna give you all the information below, their Facebook page, their Instagram page, their websites, and yeah, it's not just recently, it's been ongoing for years. So, the first man who has helped me out over the years, um, and yes, they have all given me permission, and I'm never organized. I probably should speed up this. There it is. Okay, so his name is Christopher Reburn. Okay, Christopher Reburn has been a psychic medium his whole life. Um, he's had podcasts his whole life. He has a website. He's got um, an Instagram and a Facebook page. So he has validated things that I was suspicious about that were actually real and legit and he's a lifesaver. So, here is his website. It's www.reburn, that's R-E-B-U-R-N dot org. And then on Facebook, it's Christopher dot Reburn. And he's on Twitter as well. And, um, <laughs> oh, that's all, I just noticed that. Sorry, Chris, oh my God, you made me laugh. He put <laughs> www.rachelsbiggestfan.com. You are the best, oh my God. Like, he probably already knew I wouldn't see this till I did the video. Oh, you're good, Chris, you're good. I've used Chris for about seven or eight, maybe nine years now, um, with a whole bunch of life situations and medical issues. Disclaimer. This is a big disclaimer. They both are not medical doctors or practitioners, but I have reached out to them after seeing many different doctors and practitioners with more answers to what's really going on. So I hope he knows this, that 
but believe it or not, I've saved all his emails. So we've got about seven or eight years of emails I could print out and it's probably a book. And the, the different types of readings he offers, yeah, it's definitely worth it. I wanna say thank you, Chris. And I believe I was truly guided um, at a time in my life towards his his website, his page, his podcast. That's how I started hearing about him, was his podcasts. And then I was hooked. So thank you, Chris. And like I say, he's like a brother that I've never met, but we talk, we text, and his readings are amazing. Now just recently, and when I say just recently, as of 2020, I was spiritually guided to another psychic medium and I'm honored and blessed because, wow, she blew my mind. She just blew my mind. We did it over Zoom or Skype. Um, she's done email readings for me regarding Greece. The answers I get is just, it's you guys have to try it just try it okay so this lady is called and i'm going to her instagram page okay so you can find her on instagram too nicole intuitive medium and it's spelled nicole n-i-c-o-l-e intuitive medium okay that is her instagram and she said i could give everyone her facebook page which is also, and she has it all as one word, Nicole Intuitive Medium, which I will put in the link below. And she also has a website, www.nicoleintuitive.com. Now, the things she's helped me out and confirmed, I wish, like, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to share, because it is about me and about Reese, and the funny thing is, she nailed it. She brought up things from my sons and my spirit guides to tell me about what was going on with Reese. And guess what? The next week we went to the appointments, boom, 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 boom. Everything validated, everything right, everything spot on. Because I believe in spirit. I believe in our guidance. We've always been guided, my son and I. We are truly blessed. And it's kind of like when you get answers, I, I, the only way I can tell you how it feels, it's like Christmas, Christmas morning. That's how I feel. It's like you, you want to shout from the top of the roof because you can't get the answers that you really need from the person sitting and standing right in front of you. That person who you love so much can't talk to you can't tell you what's wrong can't tell you why they're doing this can't tell you why they're doing that i am so grateful for these two people and i wanted to share this because i've never talked about it i feel like i've always been intuitive my whole life i've always been sensitive an hsp highly sensitive person intuitive light worker so I never had any qualms with this stuff and I love it and it's just beautiful to know you get the answers that you need for someone you love, okay? So I want you guys to check out both their pages, both their websites, like spot on, genuine soul, white light, just beautiful people, okay? Thank you for watching and I hope that if somebody is struggling out there, with a situation in their own life honestly reach out to these people reach out to them they will give you the guidance and answers it's not it's as a medium what they're doing is they're getting the messages that we need to hear from our spirit guides from our ancestors and telling you okay or even from your higher self but you have to give it a try and not be so skeptical I've been like this my whole life and I know certain people are like, certain family members are like, oh my God, she's crazy. Well, anyway, I got my crystals on and um, I wish everyone peace, love and light. And thank you so much for watching.